All right, so we have brought in our our assets, at least five, and we created a layer in photo P that was just white behind everything. That's kind of optional, but it helps to see things. And then I rasterized each layer after making sure that their the canvas size was at least eight by 10 inches and that the image size was at least 300, and I prefer 350 if your assets are high enough resolution. So now we need to save our work because we haven't saved it yet. And if, if we lost connection to the internet, we would lose all of this. So in Photopea, the way you save your work, doesn't matter if the layers are turned on or off, it will save all of this layer data, especially if it's rasterized. We go to File and then Save as PSD. PSD stands for Photoshop Document. This is the main reason we use Photopea instead of all the other kind of free uh, raster imaging programs that are out there. So once I do that, it comes up with, with a name. And it says, this is new, warning this site can see edits you make because it's trying to prevent piracy, right? Like it will keep the metadata of the original name, but we have nothing, we're, we're good. You don't need to worry, educational free use, we'll learn about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to name it. Whenever we save something in this class, we use our name so we can search for it later. And then I'm going to give it a description. So I'm going to say Carl. And I'm going to say exercise number one. You can use number signs. And I'm going to say Aztec Jumble. As long as you have your name there and some description, you'll be able to find it later even if it gets misplaced. I'm going to save that to the desktop. So if it says anywhere else, just hit Command D. It will navigate it back to the desktop. And then say save. And then do function F11 and find it on your desktop. There it is. I'm going to mark it as green, and then I'm going to feed it to my folder, and then I can move it into my exercise one folder. So now, if I just view this by name, I can see all my files. I can change the view options again to shrink them a little bit. And I can see my PSD, but it gets kind of lost in all of these greens. So I'm going to make a new folder, and I'm going to call this my references, or maybe my assets. right? And then I'm going to save everything, or put everything that's not my PSD file, all the ones I used and all the ones I didn't use, into this assets folder. So if I ever need to find them again, I have them. But they are all coded into this PSD. Now here's what's cool. I can open that PSD in Photopea. So I can go to another device, anywhere with a uh, internet connection, open up Photopea. I don't even need to log in. And I can drag that file into it. I can take it from my flash drive. And sure enough, it will have every layer, everything I've done. But because it's a PSD file, which supports, mul supports multiple layers, if I double click it, on my Mac here, and this these Macs in the lab have Photoshop, it will open up in Adobe Photoshop. And you will see all those layers, just like you had in Photopea. So what you're going to do right now, I'm going to close Photoshop here, is you are going to open up Photoshop after you've saved it. So save it as a PSD, but then just go to your dock and click on PS where it says Photoshop. If it logs in like this, this is logged in under an Adobe account. And if you click on the icon, it will actually go to the Adobe account web address. And if that is not you, you want to go to help at the top of the options for Photoshop, and you want to click on Sign Out. I don't want to sign out because that is me, <laughs> right? So I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to make sure everyone sets up an Adobe account so that you can all sign into Photoshop. So 
we are now at the point where we can click on this PSD in our folders and it will open up in Photoshop instead of Photo P, right? Now we want to make sure we know how to save it. So if I make a change, like I'm going to delete one more thing from here. Maybe I delete this leg. Use my lasso. You don't have to be very precious with these. And then I'm going to turn on these different layers and maybe I'll just delete a lot from this. Just leave certain things. Erase big bananas out of it. So basically make a change in Photoshop and now we're going to update it and save it. Because saving in Photoshop is a little bit more complex than saving out of Photopea. <clears throat> the way we do it is we say up at the top file and we say save as. It's always a good idea to say save as instead of save. It's the same thing except save as will always allow you to see how you're naming it. right? And naming is important. If we gave it a different name it would save it as a second file. But I'm going to keep the same name and I can also see where it's saving to which is in my exercise, but if I'm at all unsure, if I saved it to the desktop, it would make a copy of it at the desktop. So I'm going to do that just to show you what that does. Now it's saved. It's saved as a PSD. The other thing it says is save to cloud documents. So if you want to, now that you're signed in, you can click that and you can save it to your cloud. So now it's saved in your Adobe account and it's saved on your computer but it's saved onto my desktop, right? So this is my newer file. This was my older file in my folder. When I move that into my class folder and then into my exercise, it's going to ask me, there's an older item already with this name. Do you want to replace it with the newer item? And I do. It doesn't make sense for me to keep both. It's just one change. So now I have the most updated file that's a PSD. Does it all kind of make sense? And if I wanted to see it within Photoshop in the class, I could go to my home and I would see it right there. So what's the difference between one you saved to your computer? It's called a PSD file. The one that's saved to the, the cloud is a PSDC file, a Photoshop document cloud file. They are not the same file. So this is just a backup, and I don't want you to rely on your cloud documents. So at this point, I can close everything, Photoshop included. You don't need to sign out of Photoshop unless you want to. That's why I have the afternoon class use freeware. And all that's left is your folder on the desktop, right? At this point, you can take your thumb drive, it, and if you don't have one yet, you're pretty safe until we get into assignments. But you can take your, your USB portable drive. You can plug it in to your keyboard, just like you plugged in your tablet. But it will be a little bit slower. Or you can plug it into the back of your computer. Just be careful with it. Because you don't want to you know, jostle anything. And it will come up as a disk image like this. You want to name it just like you would a folder. And usually you're just going to give it your name and maybe your last name. You usually can only take like two words, right? You can give it a color as well. And now I'm going to take my whole folder and I'm going to put it onto my backup. And it will make a copy of it. And there's only 27 megabytes so far. These are small projects so far. And because I have so much plugged into my computer, I had to use my keyboard, so it takes a little bit longer. And then once that's done, you have to eject your drive by dragging it to where the trash can is or right-clicking and saying eject. If you unplug your thumb drive without ejecting it, 
You will not lose the data on the drive, but next time you plug it into your computer, your computer will not be able to read it. So what happens with a Mac is whenever you plug in a device, it creates a directory path to it. And in order to disconnect that path, you have to eject the device before you unplug it. Because it has kind of a code for entry and a code for leaving. All right, so I'm almost done. Now I'm done. So now I can eject my drive. The other way you can do it if you want to be safe is just right click and set, say eject. You have to wait until it disappears because it's writing the kind of escape coding. And it takes longer on the keyboard, right, than it does directly into the computer. Once it disappears, I can pull it out. But while I'm doing that, I can move this to my documents folder. Try ejecting it this way. Huh. I'm not sure why it doesn't want to eject. <laughs> so if it says that, I'm going to quit Photoshop. And make sure you log out of ACES. And yeah, it should be fine. I could force eject it and it's probably fine, but I shouldn't need to. <laughs> so we're going to see what that happens. But remember, that's a backup. I also have it saved on my computer. And then that's it for today. So I'm plugging it back in and we're going to see, and it's all fine. So I'm not sure why it was giving me that. Okay. So better to force eject it than to just pull it out without ejecting it. Okay. So we're going to turn these in on Wednesday, and then I'm going to post these videos up to the YouTube if you want to review them.